welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today I know y'all thought I forgotten about y'all but I haven't I must be honest with y'all I was behind the scenes recording a lot of footage or a lot of content but most of it wasn't up to standard I didn't really like most of it so I never post it but today I'm here and I finally came up with a look that I like. It's a very simple everyday look that features one eyeshadow and I really like it. So I hope that you enjoy this look. I hope that you give it a try because it's easy. I think it's easy, especially the eyes. <laughs> and I hope that you like, like this video. Guys, I'm starting off with my Becca Paulist Primer. I'm using this on my oily zone which is my forehead and then I'm going down my nose applying this underneath my eyes to get rid of any fine lines that I may have or open pores. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation this is the dewy line and I'm going to be mixing coconut and toffee together to get my um, perfect shade. Then I'm using a kabuki brush to apply this. I don't I don't suggest brushing this because it leaves streaks. That's what I noticed. So I would suggest stippling this onto the face. When you stipple it, it leaves like an airbrush type finish. I had to go over this with my beauty blender. But if I had stipple it, it would have been fine, I believe. Make sure I get the knack. I have to mention that. Make sure I get the knack. <laughs> Now I'm taking my Jordana Complete Coverage 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer and today I'm using this as a concealer to conceal underneath my eyes, my dark circle and also to give me some highlight. And I'm applying this with my finger. Down the bridge of my nose as well. And I also applied that on my forehead but I use a beauty blender. <laughs> Now I'm using my Laura Mercier mix with my Satcha Buttercup to set underneath my eyes. I'm not baking. I don't bake anymore. I noticed that's not for my type of skin. I have dry skin underneath my eyes. So I'm baking my nose. <laughs> I decided to bake my nose. That was so random. But yeah, I didn't have to. And then I'm setting my forehead as well. I'm taking this CoverGirl powder. I'm going to place the name for this powder in the description or on the screen. I'm using this to contour. Y'all, I love to contour. I like to, you know, define the cheekbones and make my face look nice and structured and snatch, girl. Yes. <laughs> I also do my forehead as well. Now I'm taking my favorite blush this is called wine by wet and wow and I'm just placing this above my contour my cheek contour actually y'all I have I have foundation on my hands like my hands on my palette okay <laughs> then I'm dusting off that excess powder that was on my nose then I'm taking my favorite favorite highlighters and I kind of did a mark in that one I was so disappointed but that was precious petal and toffee actually taupe precious petals and taupe and I'm going to be placing these on the highest point of my cheek on the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow I'm not good at the full face yet. I'm just learning this. So y'all bear with me. I, I'm, I'm, I usually wear eyeshadow in the past and never did a full face. So here I decided to contour my nose. I like a good nose contour. I'm using my NYX palette. I'm not good at this either. But I'm learning. Y'all, I came a long way. I ain't gonna lie. I came a long way. Trust me. Now for the grand finale with the face part of it or the complexion part of it, the setting spray. Make sure I set that face, lock in that look. Now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil. It's time for the eyes. 
and I'm just placing a sheer layer of this in the center of my eye from my lid upward toward my brow bone just a sheer layer of it and I didn't do this as smooth as I usually do but make sure when you're doing this you do it smoothly now I'm taking this eyeshadow from my coastal sense palette I think it's so pretty it's a nice shimmery eyeshadow and I'm using this brush to pack this onto my eyelid I'm just focusing on the center of my eyelid okay I'm going from my lid upward toward the brow bone just the center just the center and I'm like densely packing this on my eyelid and I'm just basically fanning this out upward toward the brow bone but I'm leaving the gap for the brow bone highlight you know what I'm saying I'm just going shy of the brow bone so you can see that I'm densely packing it on like I'm really giving the the most attention to my eyelid with the color and then I'm going upward towards the brow bone lighter and lighter with this color and that creates depth see in this area I'm doing light lightly very light handed I'm even talking light so y'all could get the point <laughs> I'm just playing so I am just continuing packing that color until I like what I see then I'm doing the same thing to the next eye you can already see that depth forming just from you know doing the gradient with this look like giving it that opaqueness at the lid you know you know this is so easy and this is how I would do a one shadow eye look now I'm taking my blending brush my fluffy blending brush and I'm just flattering the edges like make sure I'm blending it out properly so you can't see where it starts or where it ends and no no eyeshadow is on the tear duct area or the outer crease area it's just in the center that's where I mainly focus my look just checking to see if everything is okay and blend it I think it's good now I'm gonna apply my wing eyeliner you know I don't go without it day or night <laughs> Okay, and I apply some lashes. Everything is moving quickly. Alright guys, I wanted to show y'all a still of the look. I wanted to show you how much dimension you can create with just one eyeshadow if you create that gradient. And also, your natural pigments, your natural skin contour will help with that depth. Okay, so that's all we did. Now we're moving on to the lips. I'm taking this Mav lip liner to fill in my lips. It's by Navi. Then I'll be using this lip liner, another one. It's called Chestnut, to line my lips and to give them that juiciness. <laughs> oh man. So I slightly, slightly overline my lips, so I like how that looks. I never really just do the normal lip line. I always go just a tad bit above. Alright guys, so that's what it's looking like so far. But before I leave the house, before I leave the house, I like to make sure my highlighter is popping. So I'm applying another layer of highlight to those areas. Just make sure I'm popping, shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> now this is officially the final look. Hope you enjoy this look. Remember, and always remember to be beautiful.